Hey guys, what's going on? It's CBC, and this is my alternate team. Um, I've been practicing around with uh, some of these characters, and uh, from Man Overkill, uh, putting Spencer at point, and I decided to choose three completely different characters. Um, I mean, Ryu's not that different from Akuma, but you know. So it's Spencer, Iron Man, and Ryu. This is the first time I've actually used Spencer, so mind the uh, a lot of the mistakes that's gonna happen. And basically, I'm not I'm not spamming for no reason. I'm just trying to see what kind of moves they really are. Um, mind you, I should have went to training mode first. But um, after playing a couple of like 20 seconds, I realized his his bread and butter combos are are literally all the same. Like like the majority of the cast, just regular piano A B C, just press it and do it. Um, I didn't know how to zip line until like seven matches in. So if you're wondering why I'm not zip lining, um, it is just regular attack and special and any direction you want, and they go towards that direction. But uh, that took me a little bit more time to do as it wasn't in the command list in the game. Which is why I don't know why they don't show everything. I don't know what's with all the secrecy. But, you know. So I was originally an Omega Red player, so it's only fitting that I actually use Spencer. Um, I actually feel that I will be making a second team to, to be just as good as my first team. Um, this team has great synergy. Uh, Spencer at point makes things really easy for uh, DHCing. Bionic Arm puts you at a complete juggle state, which is really good because Iron Man and Ryu both connect to each other. So that's the, one of the biggest benefits that I have with this team, using Iron Man as second. Um, his zip line into calling the assist for Iron Man is really good. Um, it staggers your opponent, gets a lot of time, and Spencer's got some real serious priority when it comes to going around on the zipline and doing these heavy hits or special. So, for the most part, um, I realized also that Spencer is one of those characters that when you, when you hit your character in the air, it doesn't matter whether you have to launch them because you can control them. And what I mean by controlling them is you can, you can make them wall bounce if you do the, if you do the moves properly. Because uh, you'll notice in some of the characters, when you hit them in the air, you can't launch them down by, by doing a ABC combo by hitting special. The only way you can usually knock down uh, characters when they're in the in the, when they're in the air is if you launch them like this, right? But Spencer, because he's got his command where he uh, ropes you in and kicks you to the wall, it controls you completely. So that makes him really good. Um, he catches me here, but uh, Iron Man. Um, I love using Iron Man, he's a really fun character to be. I always make the mistake by, by pressing my crouching heavy and shooting out the missile. It's a safe block chain, so you get guaranteed damage, but there's a lot of more alternatives that, that could be done. Um, basically, Wesker, X-Factor, uh, level 3, what are you gonna do, you know? He does extremely amount of damage, so there goes Iron Man. And Ryu, um, I was doing my best, well, hoping that I would get the opportunity in order to do my, I wanted, I wanted to do an overhead and then cancel the X-Factor and then, you know, finish off the opponent, but he could have actually just pressed Team Super and killed me. Uh, at that point, I was trying to do level 3 here, and that didn't let me do that. Uh, wasn't fast enough, actually. But I was I was hoping I would, would have enough time, but I should have just done my Invincible Hyper, which is a Tornado. But, moving on from that, um, basically... I'm comparing these matches in the beginning. I'm not. I. Uh, I don't like right there. I was. I was trying to zip line, but but I didn't do that. And there I missed the, the off the ground rope. And this should connect to bionic arm. And like the juggle state there, um, it makes it really good to to do a lot of other. It leaves a lot of option, options open because you can just do another OTG into the wall bounce and lose another 500,000 damage. So literally, from what I'm seeing, that every any any direction you do something, Spencer can get 500,000 damage on you really easily, and not a lot of characters can do that. Um, he's also got some of the like diagonal approaches, right? Um, th that's some of the key things in this game. I mean, he gives Zero, he gives Magneto, uh, some of the best approaches in the game because they can do that. If you notice there, I was trying to juggle uh, Amaterasu with the standing light punch, I think we'll juggle him, but it was too far away, so I, I, I mean it was there. Um, at this point, uh, see that's that's possible, and I think the I don't know the amount number of the damage it does, but I think it does 470,000 damage. And like I said, good DHC. Um, I don't know, that was way too far to do that on the knuckle. But at this point, I'm still c c considering which hyper. Oh, sorry, which hyper? 
which assist I'm going to be using. Um, after watching Wednesday Night Fights, I'm probably going to be using the horizontal, the, the vertical, or diagonal rope, because it's, it gives a lot of mix-ups for your characters when you kill them and they come in, it gives you a safe approach, and I'm still contemplating on which ones to use, because uh, you always want to have two assists that have different purposes, you don't want to have both the same, unless, you know, because it's not that you shouldn't, it's just build more variation, and it makes it possible for you to do more things. You want to have one of your beam assists, and you want to have something that can cover the ground, or use a beam purpose, and then one that can advance your combos, or make it even greater to do a combo. That gives you more options, and more ability to do a lot of other things. And after this point, I try wave dashing with Spencer, and he doesn't have the best wave dash. Um, his farthest wave dash part is after he rolls for the first two seconds. Now, the better I get with uh, each of these characters, the uh, the more things I'm going to be saying about them specifically. Um, I chose to do this match because basically uh, I figured out how to do the zipline more properly and um, a little bit more things I was getting more familiar with. So I came to this match because he did a really nice setup for uh, which I think is done really soon and I was I was pretty impressed with it. Um, I think it's right here. Uh, he locks me in and he uses Cold Star for an FAD for the for the focus and there was nothing I could have done about that and I'm like oh dear I, I, I gotta make sure I don't get locked in. Um, the good thing with with Iron Man is that he's got a double jump so he could dodge the beginning of it while blocking so he's pretty safe. But after noticing that um, I'm like damn I gotta get rid of Trish if possible because that setup is that setup is literally deadly. So um, at this point. Uh, He's playing very defensive, and another reason why I wanted to show this match is because of, of adapting, how, how important it is. Um, when when you so I don't know, I know that there's sometimes when you'll be playing an opponent and you'll lose like six in, six in a row or five in a row, or you'll lose so many more of the, of, of the matches and you'll be figuring out, okay, why the hell am I losing so many matches? Well, if you ever were able to record them and watch yourself, you'd probably see something that, that is the same where every match was going the same and probably he was the more defensive one and he was able to do this and I don't know if he pulls it again here but yeah basically sometimes you gotta change the way it is and um, I realized why am I attacking so much there's really really no point um, some of the biggest reasons as to why he, he was able to do what he was doing is because when someone's on the complete offensive it's easy to find their mistakes and it's easy to exploit it so I realize, well, I'm Ryu, and just play the game as if you're you're like a wall, or you know, you're very you're extremely the best defensive character in the game, and move from there. Um, I completely screw up here, but that wasn't a plan. And luckily, he was hitting a link, and Ryu's got some better properties. Um, if he hit his normal property uh, properly, he would have been able to connect it into his level three and hit me five times with normal. Um, I'm like at this point it was so funny. I'm like, <laughs> don't do not howl at Ryu, Ryu, sorry. <laughs> but uh, these were the matches for my next team.